all right guys y'all remember this vehicle i got this rogue up in the air uh pulled the engine out yesterday after doing the transmission i don't know if y'all saw those shorts did a transmission on an ultima ac compressor some other stuff and uh well this is my next job for the day pulled this out yesterday today is the next day um and we're gonna take that front cover off and we're gonna reseal it probably just do the cover removal on this video and show y'all exactly where it's coming from there may be a short on this already but uh, yeah let's get to it and uh talk a little bit more about it as we go all right y'all so let's take care of this leak not a seep a seep is just we'll talk about that further in the in the video all right so let's uh let's get her done yeah so get that oil leak taken care of Right, guys i'm gonna try to give you all the best visual i can on this hopefully this cat crammer angle works out and um damn i hate alternator connectors why is there a piece of leaf in there <sighs> so yeah i'm uh oh let's take that off what is that uh 14 right We're gonna get into this whole leaking, seeping. So, not a 14. 17, yeah, it is a 17. Different strokes for different folks. I hate doing this. I feel like I'm gonna drop the, uh... oh, that's too thick. I feel like I'm gonna drop the engine when I do this part. <laughs> The hell? No, no it's dirt. All right, take the dry belt off, put it somewhere secure and dry. Now, sadly, this company is not paying me to do the compressor because I am doing the compressor on this as well. But it's easy enough. They paid me diagnosis on it, so he said I have to remove the compressor in order to do the front cover. No, I don't. So got that. Uh, are they closed? I don't remember. Yep, good enough. Just set that aside. Set it down below. Don't need to take the water pump off. I do need to take the tensioner off. Dang. The tensioner has to be relaxed. I keep grabbing that one. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Oh. Halfway. There we go. That's gonna be some 12s as well. Set that down. Plastic pulley, so I don't want nothing to happen to it. That's as far, that's as many accessories as we take off. Now we start tackling up top. That bracket just set aside. We've got some grounds. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't run these in. <laughs> yeah. I'm a bad influence. So we got 14, 14, 14, 14. Get around on this side. This one right here could be a pain, especially when it's in the vehicle. There we go. You got to take this off. Might as well disconnect my connectors. 
All three of them. All right. 14, 14. No, those 16 is 14. 14. 14. And the other one. This one is a tad bit tricky. So I'm limited on room. Oh no. Have to get a different ratchet wrench. Oh, other way. There we go. This one can be a pain in the bootay. Always. You do the rest by fingers. I didn't realize the angle was a little messed up. Let's get these bolts out. These are hindering me. They really weren't, but I can say that. Now I'm stuck. <sighs> don't you hate when you set something down and you don't remember where the heck you put it? I don't remember where I put that wrench. That is so weird when that happens. Oh well. Still working this damn boat. Probably could have been easier if I took the intake off, but I didn't quote the gasket. All right, as y'all see, I got it off. I still don't know where my wrench went. Oh well, um, gotta get this piece off. Start unbolting it. Where am I gonna pry from? Right here, there's a good pry, pry spot. I'm sure, I got all the bolts out. That's not a good pry. Maybe right here. Wakey, wakey. All right, there we go. Got it. Oh, come on. That thing silicone just likes to stay put. All right, now we got some bolts. We got bolts everywhere. Damn, I should have took the harmonic off. Let's do that right now. Can we do this one by hand? Oh, no, we can't.
like to get behind there. Funny how many, how many people got irritated when I did this. Like, uh, not even putting that much force on this, guys. Just enough. Put that aside. All the inside bolts. There. Got one here. Another. Here. And that's it for the inside. The outer. Ah. That's another reason why I'm supposed to take that pan off. Barely had the clearance. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, basically. Double check, make sure my bolts are all out. Alright, I think I'm good. That just came clear the fuck off. Luckily it's just an ear.
Ah, that was weird. Come on, get loose. Get loose. And sometimes pry, trying to find somewhere to pry on is the hardest part. Sure, I got a remote out. I don't want to break another ear off. Yo! Stuck down here. Got all these bolts off. Feels like it's held up in the middle. I got all the bolts. I think that dowel pin over there is what's holding me up. Yeah, because this whole thing is moving. It's that dowel pin. She's not wanting to play. Hmm. So everywhere else. Yeah, I'm broke free all the way around. Except right here. Come on, girl. Maybe if I work this side just a little bit more. Because that's that. I'm separated.
right there, there. Why am I stuck? I'm even stuck going back in. Oh, this is horrible. That dial pin is just being a pain in the butt. Can't get it off off one eternity later all right guys after fighting and fighting and fighting with it i finally got it off turns out that piece right there tucks up under the block so i had no choice but to remove the upper oil pan and if y'all want to see that's where we were leaking right there so uh yeah see leak whatever y'all want to call it it was still dripping oil y'all can see right right there okay no right there boom that's our oil leak all right guys that'll be all for today man this thing fought me all the way out so <sighs> man like comment share subscribe turn post notification bells on guys so you don't miss another upload and uh we out of here all right um i actually need an o-ring that big o-ring it didn't get ordered so we're going to wait on that tomorrow i should have it and uh yeah so this is it guys like comment share subscribe turn post notification bells on check out these videos right here subscribe right there we got merch down below we out i got nightmares in my head i fear that the thoughts build up until i can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper